Good morning, Clinton High School. Please stand for the pledge to the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Clinton Comets. I'm Gavin. And I'm Hudson, and we're coming to you live from RC Town Live Studio, bringing you all the latest news and updates from our school that matter to you. Today is Wednesday, October 25th. Before we jump into updates for the day, let's check in with the weather. What do you have for us, Hudson? Thanks, Gavin. In today's forecast, the morning will be partly cloudy with temperatures in the upper 40s. In the afternoon, it will remain cloudy with a high of 70, and later it will be cloudy with a low of 55. Today's National Day is International Artists Day. This day honors all artists that make and all that make and all the contributions they make to add beauty to the world around us. The world uh, artists encompasses painters, photograph photographers, sculptors, musicians, dancers, writers, actors, digital artists, and more. So what's new in sports, Hudson? Thanks, Gavin. Today, the boys' varsity soccer team plays against Skinny Atlas at 5 at Fulton High School in the section semifinals. Also, don't forget, don't forget to sign up for winter sports. P2 is selling raffle tickets to win a Halloween basket. It's $1 a ticket or $5 for an arm's length. Drawing will take place on Monday, October 30th. Money raised will go to the Hope House in Utica. Student Council will be selling Halloween candy grams Wednesday through Friday of this week during lunch. For $2, you can send a boo gram to anyone in the building. GSA will be meeting in Miss Ganey's room tomorrow during lunch. All are welcome and we hope to see you there. Woods Valley Ski Resort is having a job fair on November 4th from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can apply online at ski and ride at woodsvalleyskiarea.com. Happy birthday, Claire Bear, from your favorite mermaids. Love what you see on Sea Town Live? Interested in learning what happens behind the scenes? Here is your chance to become a guest anchor. Email Mrs. Pavone to learn about the great opportunity. This is a meeting about Colgate Seminar Session 2, but you still want to participate? Contact Ms. McLaughlin in the middle school. And this week we have SUNY Canton and Herkimer Community College coming in on Friday, October 27th. If you would like to meet with them, stop by the counseling office for a pass. Seniors, your senior portrait, baby photo, and quo are all due November 1st. That's next Wednesday. They must be submitted through the Google form that links that Mrs. Pavone sent out. Yearbooks are also now for sale. The price is $70 and can be bought at Balfour.com. Price will increase in January, so get yours now. Contact Mrs. Pavone with any questions. On the lunch menu in the cafeteria today is warm ham and cheese on a pretzel roll, mixed deli sandwich, and carrots. Our fun fact today is brought to you by Seatown Live. On this day in history in 1950, China entered the Korean War on the side of North Korea against South Korea and the United Nations. Uh, the United Nations, the United States, and the United States. Never declaring war, the U.S. officially referred to the intervention as police action, and thus it is called the Korean conflict, not the Korean War. The war ended in 1953 with a ceasefire and stalemate at the 38th parallel. No treaty was ever signed to bring the conflict to an official end. Both sides guard their side of the DMZ to, to this day. If you have any fun facts that you would like to share with the world, you should submit them to the Google form so we can feature them on C-Town Live. And please submit the Google form on time if you have an announcement that you would like to see on C-Town Live. Announcements submitted the same day may not be read. If you're not already doing it, make sure to follow us on TikTok and Instagram. And that wraps up for this broadcast. I'm Hudson. And I'm Gavin. Today is an A-Day.